Hi, welcome to chesstraps.net and this is the last, at least for the time being, of our series of traps in the Ponziani opening. And now we're going to look at two traps which have been amalgamated into one video clip and they're both attributed to the great commentator Irving Cherneff, a really prolific writer. So after e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, c3, black's very aggressive defense of the Ponziani, d5, after which queen a4, black takes the pawn on e4, and knight takes e5. White wanting to take now the knight on c6, so queen d5 does three things. It defends the knight on c6, it defends the pawn on e4, and it attacks the white knight on e5. So White's most aggressive continuation is bishop b5, again threatening the knight on c6. Knight g e7, extra protection for the knight. And f4, white has to guard his own knight on e5, which was now under attack. Well, black can take en passant on f3 if he wishes. But a more interesting continuation for black is bishop d7, allowing knight takes d7 and king takes d7, Black loses his castling rights, but opens up lines for attack. White here can play uh, several moves, but if after castles, a nice idea for black, knight f5, releasing the bishop on f8, who wants to get to c5 with tempo on the king. So b4 presents, uh, prevents bishop to c5, but a5, a lovely trappy move for black. If, uh, well, what black is threatening to do now is a takes b4, queen takes a8, and then bishop checks on c5, and the h8 rook will pick up the queen. So, white, prophylactica, moves the king to h8. However, after a takes b4, black gives up his rook. Queen takes rook on a8, but bishop c5, without check. Now the h8 rook is threatening the queen. Queen takes h8. And black wins anyway now because knight g3 check. The only move, h takes g3. And queen h5, that's checkmate. Going back to the other trap now in this variation is after king takes d7, we looked at white castling, but white can also try knight a3, bringing his knight onto the only available square. A trappy move for black. Rook d8. Now the a7 pawn is offered. If white takes it, well, obviously the knight on c6 is pinned and can't capture the queen on a7. However, queen takes the bishop on b5. And after knight takes, knight takes a7, knight takes a7, c6 is going to trap that knight who's all dressed up and nowhere to go. Can white save the knight? Well, not really. He can try d3. And um, here, rook a8 will pick up the knight. We can see how. Bishop e3, guarding it. Knight d5, attacking the bishop. If the bishop drops back, then e3 cuts the bishop off and the knight's gone. But in actual fact, after d3, black can even just take on d3. Because if bishop e3 guarding the knight, knight d5 hitting the bishop, and if the bishop, for example, goes to d4, instead of collecting the knight on a7, black can, can do more damage on the e-file with rook e8, and he's going to invade on e2, and white is gone. So, that's the Chernev trap, or the Chernev traps, in the Ponziani. Hope you enjoyed it. All the best. Bye-bye.